So what about the archaeological evidence for Jesus? I mean, surely shouldn't we find some archaeological remains, artifacts, etc., from the time of Christ? Oh, we do. It's incredible. I mean, from, from Bethlehem, the place of his birth, um, all the way back to where he actually grew up in Nazareth, um, the whole area around the Sea of Galilee, um, some phenomenal things. For instance, Capernaum, the synagogue at Capernaum, where uh, Jesus Christ actually started teaching as a, as a child. He actually would get up there and start teaching uh, uh, in, and on Sabbath, um, the, the house of Peter's mother-in-law. Um, then what we have is, is that Jesus would go down um, with the Jordan River, um, the whole Judean wilderness where he was uh, tempted, um, and then ultimately Jerusalem. I mean, profound evidence in Jerusalem uh, for the time of Christ, um, the Kidron Valley up the other side, the Mount of Olives there in the Garden of Gethsemane where we actually have 2,000-year-old olive trees. Um, fantastic stuff. We have the Pool of Bethesda, where, where Jesus healed a crippled man. We have the Pool of Siloam, where, where Jesus healed the, the blind man when he made this spittle and, and mud, and he, and he told the blind man to go wash in this pool. Um, some fantastic evidence, all the way back when the night of Jesus' uh, uh, betrayal and when he was brought back before the high priest Caiaphas. We've actually found the tomb of Caiaphas' family and actually the bone box uh, of Caiaphas. We have inscriptions from Pontius Pilate. And we have uh, the place, the pavement, Gabbatha, where, where Pilate would have, would have proclaimed judgment. Um, we have all sorts of incredible evidence, including dozens of rolling stone tombs that date to the first century A.D. Profound time in history as they're, as they're digging up different areas of Israel, as they're doing different public works projects and coming into these incredible areas. Uh, I think of this great drought that they had at the Sea of Galilee only in the 80s. Uh, where all sorts of things came to light because the water level had never been so low. All sorts of ancient harbors were actually where John and Peter's boats would have been, where, where um, uh, Gennesaret, where, where Jesus, when he, when he walked on the water in the story with, with the disciples and then came back into that harbor. All of these harbors were non-existent for year, hundreds of years, and all of a sudden we see them all uh, because of this drought. And now, of course, the water's risen again, but we have pictures an incredible time in history to be alive, an incredible amount of archaeological support for the first century um, A.D., time of Jesus, his ministry, and his disciples, and ultimately the religion that grew in his name. Check it out.